Hey guys, what's up? It's Patrick here, bringing you guys episode 23 of my Let's Play Clash of Clans series, where we're going to be doing some big upgrades around the base. So first and foremost, the mortar in the center costs 400,000 to upgrade. I'm sitting at 399,970, so 30 gold away from that one, and I'll do that one as soon as the first raid wraps up. Also, I've upgraded all my walls to level 5 that we unlocked at Town Hall 6, as well as most of my defenses are looking pretty good, so probably in the next episode I'm going to redesign my base, if not the episode after that and yeah i'll show you guys what i've got and hopefully the new defense works out well so let's go ahead and upgrade that gold mining elixir pump and as far as my laboratory goes i'm going to upgrade my balloon up to i think level three and then for the other three builder huts i'll hold on to those to the end of the episode and finish off what we've got after we've stolen the resources so for base number one, over 335,000 resources available, and this guy definitely has one of the weirdest bases I've ever seen. It feels like common logic would be to put your defenses together because defenses are stronger in numbers, but for this guy, sort of went the exact opposite route and his defenses are pretty much spaced out as far as possible. So I dropped a couple of barbarians to take care of the mortars on the outside just in case I visit down there later. And then now I'm gonna attack through the bottom, or sorry, the top left, and try to take care of these wizard towers as well as the cannons and archer towers inside of the center. There really aren't too many defenses here, so I should be able to destroy it fairly easily. Drop a couple of giants, drop a couple of archers. Those guys will shoot down the archer tower and the wizard tower, and then the cannon will go down next. So the last defense that's left is this archer tower on the top left. So I'm gonna drop my 10 archers as well as three goblins to distract that archer tower, uh, sort of as mini, a mini tank for me. And then now I'll be free to steal the rest of the resources and run around the base. So again, I feel like this guy might've been like midway through designing a base without using the base builder tool. And he sort of just said, screw it and maybe quit the game or something like that. Um, but you know, something I've learned in Clash is no matter what you think your opponent's thinking, it doesn't really matter as long as they have a lot of resources. So I'm going to steal it, I'm going to run, and uh, that should pretty much do it for the resources for this raid. So I wasn't really aiming to get three stars, but since those mortars were taken care of by my Barbarian, there's only three defenses left. There's two cannons and these archer towers that are pretty far apart. So I'm going to go ahead and drop some goblins since there aren't any resources left. Those guys are going to attack the cannons directly. And then after that, the rest of my goblins will show up, destroy those guys, and that should be able to wrap it up for this raid. A couple of army camps left, as well as the clan castle that was hiding for me up on the top. So, and that'll be our three stars. Let's check what we've got and move on to the next raid. So 28 trophies, over 335,000 resources, like I said. Pretty solid. And moving to raid number two, there's even more resources available in this guy's base. So unfortunately, it isn't set up like the last base that we attacked, but we should be able to get at least half of it. He has almost 600,000 available, which is crazy. And let's start taking care of some of these mines and pumps but also we're gonna to have to take care of the storages. So something that gets weird in Clash of Clans is when you attack a base that has a lot inside of the storages and inside of the mines and pumps, which I say is maybe like less than 5% of the time you'll see bases like this. Usually it's all in the storages or it's all in the mines and pumps with maybe a tiny bit in the storages, but this guy has pretty much half and half inside of the storages and the collectors. So gotta be careful, gotta attack from the right side to try to get as much as I can, and I decided to attack from the top right. So in the top right, I see there was an elixir collector there. I took care of that. There's also a gold mine. There's also a gold storage and elixir storage inside of the walls. So if I shoot those down, I feel like I'm at least going to get somewhere around 300,000 in loot. And for attacking a Town Hall 7, I'd say that's pretty good. And I would definitely be happy if we got over 300,000. So right now we send that 200,000 gold, 137,000 elixir. I did drop my balloon because I didn't see any air defense on the bottom right hand side. So that's going to run around and attack some of these defenses. But I don't think I'm going to become anywhere close to getting all the resources in this guy's base. There is that one elixir collector right there that my archer tower or my archer guys are going to shoot at. And after they shoot that down, they're probably going to get killed by that wizard tower right there. So examining what else I can do with this base, like I said, I did upgrade my spell factory, I think in the last video or maybe the one before that. And the spell factory is actually going to be super useful because not only the heal spell is unlocked, but I'm able to hold that second lightning spell. So I'm going to drop my two lightning spells in between the gold mine and the gold storage. That's going to give me a nice little boost of gold. And then from there, I can surrender and check what I've got for the base. So I got over 350,000 resources, and even though I didn't steal anything, I'm still pretty happy with that raid. I would take that 10 out of 10 times. Let's move on to the next one and see if we can have a pretty good amount of success. So this is a really weird base, and usually you don't see bases that have like a lot of one resource and less than 40,000 of another. So this guy has pretty much full gold storages, but his elixir storages are absolutely empty. So maybe he did some sort of elixir storage 
or elixir upgrade recently and he's been saving up forever to upgrade something with his gold but unfortunately i'm gonna rain on his parade and try to steal as much gold as i can so since i don't care about elixir i'm definitely going to be attacking from the top because that's where the two gold swords are that obviously makes sense and let's destroy some of the buildings on the outside so it makes it easier for me to get inside of his base so troops are going down, dropping some wall breakers now that the defenses have been destroyed. And then from here, I'm going out on an all-out spam mission and taking care of these gold storages. You're going to see exactly how quickly I steal that gold. It's literally like 30,000 gold a second with those goblins. And after the second storage goes down, we'll pretty much have most of his gold. And that should be it for what we want from this raid. Would be nice to get 50% and get that second star, not really necessary since I already got the town hall, but overall a great raid, we stole over 260,000 gold just like that, and uh, we ended up getting a star for our troubles. So 44% looks like we're probably not going to get to that 50%, I have 3 wall breakers left, but I'm really not going to stress it and try to do some suicide mission and take care of some barracks or something like that. So I can surrender from here, take my resources, and I think we should have enough to go ahead and do the upgrades that we wanted to do in the beginning of the episode. So we have over 1 million gold. So I think that's the first time we've held a million gold in this account. I guess that deserves a pat on the back or whatever. We're actually going to fill out at 1 million, 1 million and 1,000 gold. And now I can go ahead and upgrade what I want and wrap it up for this video. So 400,000 gold to the mortar in the center. Looking at what else we can do, also this mortar on the right hand side is going to be 400,000 gold. And when I redesign my base, I'm definitely going to have a lot of splash damage to deal with people attacking with barbarians, archers, and goblins. Looking what I, what else I can do with this last builder, I sort of wanted to spend something for my elixir since I have 460,000, but there's not a lot of elixir upgrades you can do since my laboratory is already working on the balloons, so I ended up deciding on upgrading my gold storage to level 10 to double the capacity. So it's really not going to help that much, I guess it'll give it a little bit more hit points which will help against people that attack me, but yeah. That's going to do it for this video and that will do it for the upgrades today. So expect a base design in the next video or the one after that in case I get lazy, but it definitely should be in the next one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace out.